crackberry.com. Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for crackberry.com. I'm going to take a quick look at how to upgrade your device software over the air. You can see I have my Verizon tour here. I have the wireless update icon that was pushed to the device. So that means there's new software available. In this case, it's the long-awaited 5.0 software. The first thing we're going to check out um, is where the wireless update option lies. Here, if we go to options and advanced op options, we see the wireless update. If this doesn't appear on your OS, what you can do is jump into the service books and you highlight the provisioning OTASL service book highlight and you would delete it and then that'll disappear from your service books and then what you're going to do is go into the host routing table hit menu register now that's going to get all the service books fired up and back to your device and then in a couple minutes if not right away um, when you jump into the advanced options you're going to see the wireless upgrade option appear down the bottom there so we can see we have it on the home screen uh, but a lot of times it won't just pop up on the home screen so you'll have to go under the uh, advanced options and you'll see wireless update so here I have a little warning message. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Um, you have to be running an official OS from the carrier in most cases to be able to upgrade. So here we see I'm um, running 4.7.1.61. I had previously upgraded over the air, so you can see it has previous updates succeeded. If you actually um, if you click on that, it's going to give you the option to delete the, the data, which would allow you to roll back, or you can actually downgrade back to the previous OS. So um, it's always handy to have just in case something goes wrong and you need to go back. But here we have update to 5.0.0.591 is available. Um, so if we click on that, it's going to give you a little brief description of the update, tell you that you can download it. Um, your charges will apply, but you should have an unlimited data plan before you do this. So we can go ahead and hit next. And it's going to submit the request. It's going to work in a couple steps where it's going to download the, um, the software and then it'll go through the upgrade process. It works in the same manner as it does upgrading over Desktop Manager, but it does take quite a bit longer, but it's gonna go through the same thing as far as backing up and uh, restoring all your data and upgrading everything. So let me just give it a little bit of time. You need to be in a decent reception area as well so it doesn't drop out because there's bits and pieces that could go wrong in the process, but hopefully nothing terrible. So um, we have the request submitted. And like I said, you do want to give it a little bit of time so you can see here firsthand that it does take quite a while to uh, get up and kicking to begin with. So we'll just hang out for a couple minutes and wait for it to come back on that request. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so we can go ahead and see here. It's got the, um, it's ready to download. It's going to show you um, a little button there so you can start the download. It's going to show you how big the update is. So depending on what OS you're on and what you're jumping to, it's going to be various size. But this is the first part. Um, and while this is going on, you can still use your device during just the download process. So we'll go ahead and click Start Download. Here you can pause it in between. So if you know you're going to be dropping out of service or anything like that, you can pause the download. Um, but you can actually keep using your device while it's downloading. Um, and it will take a while depending on your network covers and everything like that. So just let that sit and when it gets to 100, it's going to give you the uh, the option to go ahead and start the update process, at which point you're not going to be able to use the device um, and you just have to let it run its course. So we'll leave that for now and we'll catch it again once it's finished downloading. After your update is downloaded, you're going to see this screen. Um, it took just over 20 minutes to get the entire update downloaded. So um, you can kind of base your timing off that for the download. But it shouldn't really matter too much because, like I said before, you can use your device while it's downloading the update. Um, and you don't really have to worry about it. So you're going to be presented with this screen where we have the update and schedule update options. So we're going to check out the schedule. Here you can put in... Um, a start time and a start date. So you can set this for you know, tomorrow in the middle of the night or some other time when you know you're not going to need to use your device and it'll go ahead with it. You can also do confirm before starting, in which case you're going to have to, it's going to pop a little box up and you're going to have to give it the okay. So unless you're going to be doing it sometime when you're alive or awake, um, you don't want to do that because it'll hold up the update. So you can set this, you see here like it's set for 2 a.m. on April 6th and then it'll run in the middle of the night won't have to worry about it and you'll be good to go. So we'll jump back out and we're gonna go ahead with the update now. So we click that, it's gonna give you the little warning you're gonna be unable to use your device or make any calls for up to two hours. 
yada, yada, yada. Again, gives you the uh, schedule update, but we're going to go ahead with the update now. It's going to verify the update, and then it's going to fire it up. And it does take quite a while, which is kind of a drag. Um, if you do this over Desktop Manager, it's usually done in less than an hour, but um, definitely a little more convenient to just fire it up straight through the device itself. So and we'll give it a minute here to kick in. You're going to see it run through the same processes. It's going to go through the backup process, and you're going to see the uh, which files are getting installed and updated and everything. And then when it's done, it's going to restore. And it'll give you a little progress indicator, but the uh, bad part is you won't be able to use the device, so you just kind of have to leave it sit and uh, watch it go through the paces. So we'll leave it here, and once the, uh, the update kicks in, we'll check back, um, check on our time. So we can see here on my 9700, it's 1031. So hopefully it won't take too long, but like I said, if you're gauging it off the, uh, the download time for the update being 20 minutes, um, you know, people have done this in under an hour. A lot of people, it takes closer to two hours. So it depends on all kinds of settings and situation, but that's how it is. So and there we go. We're jumping into it. Um, it starts off just like the app loader or desktop manager is going to do the backup. It gives you your overall backup progress. Um, you know, it flashes through real quick what it's backing up and it gives you the total time down the bottom, which is cool. So you can kind of keep track of it. But that's really all there is to it from here. So just, you know, don't turn on the device or rather turn off the device, pull out the battery or anything like that in the middle of this process. Otherwise you might frack it up a little bit. But other than that, you just kind of let it ride and sit back, you know, watch a movie, have a snack, do whatever you want to do. And we'll check back in with it. Okay, we jumped through another reboot here and a couple more blips and flashes. And now it's back to um, installing. So you see it has patching the OS. Um, it shows a little indicator there. We have one of four, and then it's got a little percentage indicator. So it's going to go through a bunch of that, you know, on a patching OS, um, different Java notes and things like that. But basically, just a little mishmash of what's going on to keep you informed. Um, it's not like the breakdown on Desktop Manager on the PC, where it shows you individually, you know, what's going on, whether it's uh, removing files, installing files, updating, whatever it's doing. But it still gives you a, a decent idea of what's going on, lets you know that your device is still alive and kicking. As you can see here, it's just going to truck on through the um, the restore progress, and then we're going to be back up in the device. So everything's going to be new. It's going to be a fresh install. So any of your third-party applications or anything like that, you're going to have to go back um, and plug in all your settings. Um, everything should go well with the restore. So any um, you know, the options you have and everything like that, your sound profiles, um, all that good stuff should still be intact. But as far as third party applications, stuff like Facebook or any of your IM applications, you're going to have to go back in and put in all your login information and set all that stuff back up again. Um, and if the the radio is off, you know, make sure you turn that on and it'll uh, make sure the device is registered again. Um, so you have your little registration message and all that good stuff. Um, send yourself a test email, make sure those are coming in. If not, you can resend the service books, which you can do straight through the device, through the, uh, the email settings, um, just to make sure that's up and running. So here we're nearing the end of our, um, our restore. Took it just under three minutes here. Um, it's going to finish that up and then it'll, uh, it'll spit us back out into the newly installed OS. And you'll be good. So that's pretty much the uh, the coup de grace there is the update success successful message. Um, and you go through here. It's going to give you everything just like when you pulled it out of the box for your uh, your setup and all that good stuff. So we're gonna do do not ask again for the setup wizard. And if we jump into our messages here, we can see we have our uh, welcome message from Verizon, BlackBerry message that we registered on the network and we're up and running.